friends welcome back in this video i will be telling you all about strings like what is string why we need to de declare strings and how we can declare the strings basically strings are used when you have to define more than one character in a single by and they to be referenced by a single variable like let's say if i declare string a is equals to shape ai so this is my single string and this is how I can create a string and when I will display the message SOPLN A so output will be shape AI as simple as that okay so there are many ways you can declare your string first is this simple way like I told you another way is by using the new keyword like string A is equals to new string and then here you can define like cat so now A will be pointing to cat or a will be displaying cat whenever we use the command system dot or dot print ln some basic things that we need to know or dig up about the string is that that will teach you is how strings are working similar concept of array string are also zero based index like for say c a t this is cats okay so the indexing will go from 0 1 2 3 okay but the length if i write um, let's say this has been pointed by the word b so if i write b dot length then what will happen it will return me 4 the indexing goes from 0 to length minus 1 okay so the length is 1 2 3 4 of course the length is 4 but the indexing goes from 0 to whatever the length is minus 1 as simple okay so now in order to know the strings in a more specific way just like me create string for you so here is a simple example i have taken i have taken string s1 which is storing welcome word and then string s2 which is storing java so if i go for string dot length s1 dot length if string length is s1 dot length it will display me the length of welcome so let's see what is the length of welcome one two three four five six okay so length is six okay if i'm not right no it's seven sorry sorry it's seven and the length of java the string s2 is four so let's see are we right or not so you can see it's seven and four so we got our strings if you want to display your string what you have to do you just simply write here s1 and then simply plus so and here also you can write plus so what you can we can get our string also been printed so you can see string length welcome and it's seven Okay, so you can add the necessary gaps that you want to add and so on. Now, another thing that I want to explain you is in order to get more than two strings, what I can do, welcome. And then if I add here, welcome world, welcome world. So, this plus is used to concatenate two strings or to add up the two strings. So, here what it will be printed, simply S1 and the in s1 welcome world will be printed and let me put a space here so we will get a proper space also so you can see i have added two strings and here we got the two strings welcome world and 13 is the length that i got as the output if i remove this length mm, now it will be pretty easy to read the readability will now increase so yes you can see it is now here string length that is the message and it's welcome world so you can concatenate or merge two strings in this by using simply plus symbol okay after this if you want to convert your string simply i will just remove this message first so that you don't get confused what is i am writing and what is being displayed so if i want to go for some functions i have many string inbuilt functions but i'm te teaching you only few of them like if i want to convert my entire string into uppercase so i will write s1 is equal to s1.2 you can see there are so many methods to lowercase to uppercase okay so to care array there are many methods you can dig up on the internet and see so let's first go for the uppercase okay so i'm converting my string into uppercase so i just put a semicolon now you will see entire welcome world will be in uppercase so let's run this and great it is an entire uppercase if i want to do the lowercase i will just have to write here to lowercase and it's done so you can see now the entire welcome world will be in lowercase yes it's in lowercase so this is how we can go for it and if i say let's say by example by mistake i added so many spaces that were not required so i have a method known as s dot trim so this will remove the bra brace unnecessary white spaces before or after the string 
let's say I added few here also so it will remove so let's see whether it is removing or not and you can see it just removed the white spaces unnecessary white spaces that were there so it's very easy to do for this unnecessary white spaces can be removed in the string you can have many more methods like here if I write okay so I will I will show you many methods it could be s1 dot and you can see there are so many concatenate is used to add the strings you can use dot can concatenate also in order to add two strings or this plus symbol will also work it's more the same okay so there are many functions you can see too many functions are there as of now for the string that's more than sufficient we will be requiring when then we will be teaching you those upcoming functions